Hello guys, my name is Chu. Previously, I have done a video called 5 steps to set up a computational fluid dynamic analysis in NX. So this video actually demonstrates some customization in NX. If you're trying to find this button here, probably you can't find it because the, the buttons are not there in the user uh, interface by default. You need to customize it. And this video is about, it's all about how do we set up the customization. So for this video, I have four steps. The first step is we will need to add additional templates. The template itself contains the material definition and also the boundary definition and so on. By having this template defined in Annex, we can reduce the workflow uh, steps. And that is why uh, during my previous uh, CFD demonstration, you can't see the step to define the material or the uh, boundary conditions because the steps are uh, the de definitions are already defined within the templates. And we need to edit the PEX file, the .pax file, in order to register the templates into the NX10 software. So for this purpose, I'll be using NX10, and uh, probably you can use other version as well. So please download the necessary files uh, from my YouTube video download link below. This will be the fan file template. This will be the sim file template. The folder here will be the customized program. And this will be the demo file for this application. So now, now let's look at uh, setting up the template. You need to go to the template directory for example, in the C drive, go to the program files, look into NX10, which is in Siemens, and you go to UGII folder and finally arrive into templates. Copy this information into the directory. And we'll need to modify the PEX file so probably you need to search for your PEX file uh, within the directory. Right click and choose edit it using a notepad or any text editor. You can put it side by side. And if you're, uh, if you're first time looking into this uh, PEX file, probably you'll be uh, confused with all the scripts. So not to, not to worry, this procedure will be uh, very uh, easy. You can look into the scripts and notice there is a repeating pattern. For example, this set of scripts is uh, used to define one particular template. And the ID for this uh, template is called D1. So what we need to do is to copy the most relevant template and modify the sets of information to register the two added, uh, newly added template. For example, I'll be copying pallet ID number D2 because this will be uh, quite similar to what we were trying to do. Just copy the information, uh, scroll to the bottom and paste the information here before the ending syntax. So we can paste it here, for example, right click, choose paste and we need to update the ID to the subsequent ID, for example, 44 and 43. So the next one should be 45. We'll quickly update the presentation name, which is used to present this template in NX um, data box. For example, NX open demo intake manifold. I hope my spelling is correct. You can put the description to add, to provide additional um, information as for example as such. The next thing we'll do is to update the file name into the exact file name here. So I'll need to copy this information and paste it on to here. 
OK, finally, check that the units that this template will be using is uh, matrix units. So we have completed one template. Now let's copy another set in order to account for the next template. For example, uh, template sets ID D4. So just copy this information because uh, this uh, template D4 is referring to a same template, for example here. Now let's copy this information and paste it on to the bottom. Change the ID to 46, for example, then we can quickly rename the information We can put a different shader, for example, this will be the same template, this will be the fan template. And most importantly, we need to change the file name into the exact file name. And also make sure that the units use this metric. Finally, we have finished editing the text file. You can click save and exit. We have finished step number one. And now let's look into step number two, which is to set up the user directory for customized application. The user directory is governed by the environment environment variable which uh, either you can set the environment var variable in the computer's um, dialog box or you can set this environment variable in a batch file which I'm be doing now so right click uh, sorry so let's go to the start choose the pad I'll be starting uh, NX program using the batch file so I'll just right click on the NX10 icon and copy the target path entirely into the notepad. And before uh, running NX software, I will need to set the directory for the user. For example, um, this folder here is located in desktop remember to put the end um, folder as here you can place this uh, folder uh, somewhere safe but as long uh, as this directory is point to the uh, corresponding location is okay so we have finally completed the script for the batch file. Click uh, file and choose save as. Um, I will quickly put this a name, for example, NX10. And I would like to change the extension, extension from TXT to BAT. Uh, put it a name as such. Click save. Close the file you will find the batch file at here. Now quickly right click, uh, double click on the batch file to start the NX program. By doing so, you can quickly check on the templates. So NX10 has been fired up, we can quickly go to the new tab to verify that our template is already there. So go to the simulation tab, scroll to the bottom and you'll see there is a NX open demo, uh, intake manifold fan and also sim. So now we need to proceed to the next step which is to set up the customize button in NX. For example, 
uh, I can just right click on the empty space in the ribbon tabs, choose customize. I'll click on the plus icon here to create a new tab which is available for all applications. Then in the customize dialog box, I will scroll to the bottom here and choose new item. Drag the new user command five times into the custom tab because we are going to perform five custom program. Okay, now let's quickly rename each of the uh, buttons. For example, I can right click on the first one and choose step, put the name as step one. And press enter to accept it. Right click again, go to the change button icons, choose the icon name and browse for a new um, image. For example, you can use an image, but I already have the image file, so you can reuse the file as such. So we will try to we will quickly uh, do all the sorry. Enter the customized mode, right click, and change the name. So now we'll quickly create uh, rename all the five commands. So once we do that, we can quickly assign a picture. So there goes the last picture. Now finally, we we'll need to define the actions performed for each of the buttons. So right click on the first button, go to edit actions, click the browse button and browse to the V10 folder, click on um, number one for step number one. Step number two, click for number two, and so on. So finally, I've defined the name, the picture, and also the action for each of the button. We can click the close button here to exit the customization. And that's it for step number three. Finally, let's try to verify whether we have successfully customized the commands. So we can go ahead and open the demo file which is given. Now proceed to the custom tab number one, click on step number one. Select the body and click OK. It seems that the, uh, the scripts are, are doing fine. Now click on step number two and choose an internal surface to highlight all the internal surface. Click on the button here to all but selected button. To reverse the selection, click OK to create the internal volume cat. Step number three, select the, the surface corresponding to the image, click OK. Some additional cat model has been created. Step number four, Choose the space here and click OK. And you can see that the meshing progress is in is in progress. Step number five and finally 
choose the phase for boundary condition definitions and click OK. As you can see, the solutions are populated here on the right side, uh, sorry, on the left side. And we can start to solve each of the solution beginning from the first one. So we we'll double click here and start solving. So in conclusion, the steps are all have been verified and working successfully. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.